Hi everybody, uh, my name is Jay. I'm gonna give you a little tour of um, my little ruckus. Uh, I'm an old guy uh, and I don't, I didn't buy a ruckus for the same reason most people do. I bought a ruckus uh, just to tool around on and make runs to the store and so my wife and daughter can run around on it. And so she can head to the coffee shop and uh, run around our little neighborhood on it. Uh, but I didn't want it to just be a regular old ruckus and I certainly didn't want to stretch it and lower it and uh, make it all those things. I'm not 20 anymore. So, um, but I love the ruckus and I love Honda and I've ridden Hondas my whole life. Most of the time I ride a Harley Fat Bob. Uh, so I'm not going to really be uh, riding this thing for real every day, but I do love it and I want to ride around on it. This was a barn find. Um, the guy that I bought it from uh, found it, bought it for a few bucks, uh, had 210 miles on it. The roof of the barn had caved in on it, uh, had a lot of water damage, had some rust. Um, the engine was um, not seized up, but the tank was rusted. So we replaced the gas tank, um, fuel pump, fuel lines, fuel filter, uh, wiring, harness, um, replaced the battery, um, a couple of other things. Most of it's done, it's in pretty good shape. I'm gonna show you some of the rigged up brackets and some of the basket stuff, some of the cargo things I've done. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a rusty little mess. Um, it's a beater, it's a bar hopper, and that's what I intended it for. So take a look at what I've done. I got this uh, little bell bicycle basket. It has a wooden bottom. Came with these brackets. I just tied it into the seat frame. Had to modify them a little bit, but they work pretty well. Um, I used a couple of hose clamps and I took one of the brackets and flattened it out, tied it into the brake light cover, uh, which is a really stout connection. Works really well. The hose clamps I just added in just for some extra stability, but that thing would hold probably about 30 or 40 pounds if I wanted it to. Really stout, it would hold 12 pack or a bunch of groceries. Uh, put in some uh, extra uh, bungee cords in there. Um, you can carry some, a lot of groceries in there. There's a um, little cup holder, uh, coffee or a, a small Yeti would fit in there. This is a powder coated motorcycle rack that I recovered off of a an old motorcycle my dad had, but it wasn't powder coated, it had it powder coated. I had to make some brackets for it. They're pretty hoopty, but they work. Tied them into the top of the, um, the top of the headlights there. Works pretty well. That would hold about 20 pounds if you put them up there. Wouldn't want to put too much up there, but they work pretty good. That, those are highway pegs I made out of a piece of hardwood and um, some aluminum that I had just tied it into the floorboards. Those are threaded holes there and it worked really well. That's some pistol grip tape that I had. And all this stuff is stuff that I had. Didn't buy really anything. That's a Bluetooth speaker that I had uh, strapped in with something called a bushwhacker, which is a uh, little Velcro straps that work on a bicycle. There's a motorcycle bag I had that just fits nicely down there under the seat. Works really well for just a tool bag. So in the back, I have this uh, little thing made by Cocoon. It's just uh, got little bungee straps. It's a gear organizer, but that would work really well if you had just uh, something loose back there that you didn't have a bag for. And this is really great. This is a tactical drop pouch. Uh, you could put a bottle of wine in there, or you can put any loose gear back there that you didn't have a bag for. And it has uh, cinch cords that you could put in there. Works really well. Um, you just bunch that up, and um, when you're not using it, the little flap comes down, the Velcro is shut, and stows out of the way. Really good addition. Just has straps that strap it in. This is another little tactical bag I had, already had, that um, strapped on the back, put a rain gear coat in there, and uh, works as a backrest. Yeah, it's just a cool little urban assault vehicle there. 
um, but it's good for just tooling around. 2006 model uh, Honda Ruckus. It currently has 310 miles on it, and it's all registered up and uh, street legal. Turn signals or aftermarket and the mirrors too. It's it's a lot of fun. Heck on wheels. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, I'll put some links in the description for anything that um, I know where I got it and you want to know where I got it. But thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And um, comment and, and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.